to High School Physics Explained. And this is one of the short uh, series of videos where I'll go through various exam papers from the New South Wales HSC exam in physics. And I'll go through how to quickly mark, answer that question uh, in order to achieve maximum marks. So the question today I'm going to deal with is question 25 from 2015. And the first part of the question uh, deals with uh, conversion of electrical energy. Now, when you read a question like this, uh, it's uh, very important to read carefully in terms of answering this question correctly. And it says outline the conversion. Now, what does outline mean? Outline generally means sketch in general terms. So we're not looking for lots of detail here. Secondly, um, the next part is the conversion of electrical energy by devices. Notice the plural there, devices. So more than one device is mentioned is required here. It needs to be in the home too. So it's no point uh, raising uh, um, industrial examples here. It needs to be something that you're familiar with in your own home. And then finally, it talks about uh, two other forms of energy. So this is a particularly easy question. So one of the things you could say is, uh, for example, an oven in the home, well, that converts uh, electrical energy into heat energy. And that would be an appropriate response. So there's one device and one conversion of electrical energy. And then maybe you want to make actually say a fan. And of course that converts electrical energy into, in this case, kinetic energy. So there is another form of energy there. You could also have a light bulb and you want to be clear here, we're talking about light bulb. Uh, and there we've got electrical energy converted into, obviously is light energy, right? And of course, if we're not so efficient, then there's heat energy over there. Now, it's really important. We've got two devices, so any two, and two different forms. So it's no point saying oven heat energy and light bulb into heat energy because that's one form of energy. Nor is it okay just to say light bulb and there's my two forms of energy, but you've only mentioned the one device. So that's really important. And But, you know, that should be fairly easy to get three marks. Let's have a look at part B. Well, part B is all about the transformer. And as you're aware, transformers convert, um, basically change one voltage to another voltage. And um, as a result of that, we have uh, either the voltage decreasing in terms of a step down transformer or uh, a voltage increasing in a step of up transformer. But as you should know, uh, the current also uh, changes in, in the uh, inverse proportion. So for example, if the voltage is stepped down, the current is stepped up. And why is that? And really important, of course, is that power is conserved and ultimately energy is conserved. So the question here says, explain why this information on this label is incorrect. Explain needs a cause and effect. So you're looking at here, the uh, um, uh, the label here, you need to form some sort of causal and effect relationship. And predominantly, as I've just discussed, really the big issue here is that when you look at the input versus the output, you've noticed that the input with both voltage and, and, and current, you can work out the power. So the power input in this case is 240 multiplied by 5, and that of course gives us 1200 watts. The power output you can see now is two. Now this is of course a K there, so that becomes 2000 volts, right? Multiplied by one amp. And of course that gives us 2000 watts. Clearly there's a mismatch because power is supposed to be same on both in and out. As a result, in, you can clearly see that it is not power, possible for power to increase. So what's happening here, of course, is this violates the law of conservation of energy, which states that energy can never be created nor destroyed, but only transformed. This violates it. So in order to get full marks here, I have now an explanation. That is, the results here are inconsistent effect or with the concept this violates the conservation of energy and so this is what I stated so I've done the explanation part and I've supported it here with the mathematics part as well so 
that's basically it. That's all you would need to write down here in order to actually get the full three marks. Hope that's been helpful for question 25. And I hope you can subscribe to my channel and we'll get more videos to help you uh, understand high school physics. Bye for now.